Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the Black Financial Channel. I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins and I wanted to uh, tell you about Uber. Uber is having some serious problems right now. Um, it looks like they have a sexual assault problem. Um, I'm looking here and uh, I'm reading from NBC News and the title of the article is Uber reveals widespread sexual assault problem including hundreds of, report, hundreds of reports of rape. Um, basically, uh, according to this article, uh, there are were 235 reported rapes that occurred in Ubers uh, last year in the United States. That's about four per week. Now, um, I'd be curious to know how many rides per week they do. Uh, I'm sure it's, you know, 100,000 rides or something. Uh, so four out of, you know, 100,000 or whatever the number is. Um, is that high or is that low? It's up to you to decide. But they said the ride hailing company has come under increased scrutiny amid a flood of lawsuits from riders alleging they were sexually assaulted by drivers. In an extensive new report, Uber details for the first time the number of sexual abuse complaints made to the company in 2017 and 2018. The 84-page report reveals several startling statistics. 235 reports of rape in 2018, up from 229 in 2017. So there's more. Oh, God, that's bad. 280 reports of attempted rape in 2018, down from 307 in 2019. 1,560 reports of groping in 2018, up from 1440 in 2017. 376 reports of unwanted kissing to the breast, buttock, or, or, or mouth in 2018, down from 390 in 2017. 594 reports of unwanted kissing to a different part of the body. Um, let's see, in, in all, Uber received 5,981 reports of sexual abuse between 2017 and 2018. So it looks like they took all the different types of, you know, of, uh, of inappropriate behavior put them all together over a two-year period, and it's 5,981. Now, um, I think that that's pretty bad, right? It obviously states that there are some safety precautions that they want to put in place and that you want to be careful. Um, you know, there are ways to be safe when you ride in an Uber. Uh, and in fact, um, I, uh, you know, I actually found some stuff here. I ride Ubers all the time. And so here are some tips on how to be safe in your Uber uh, in case you want to keep riding Uber and uh you but you don't want bad things to happen uh number one it says uh, these tips were created in collaboration with law enforcement to help you sit, stay safe while riding in an uber one request your ride inside um i i don't know i guess that means uh you know call for your uber while you're inside a building or something like that uh two check your ride so check to make sure that that's the person you're supposed to be riding with have the driver confirm your name yes they should say your name without they shouldn't, you know, sort of have it sort of where you say your name and then they say, oh, yeah, OK, yeah, you Cindy. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Right. What you do is you say their name and then they say your name and then you know that you're supposed to be with each other. Uh, be a backseat rider. Ride in the backseat. Always wear your seatbelt. Share your trip details with loved ones. So let somebody know that you're getting in an Uber and also protect your personal information. So this is what they state here. And if you want to put the numbers into context, um, let me see here. In a day, uh, Uber does uh, 15 million rides a day across 500 cities and international markets. Um, so that's 2 million drivers, 7.5 passengers per driver on average. So in a given day, Uber does uh, 15 million rides in a week. They do, the, I, I said 100,000, 200,000, but actually it's much bigger than that. They actually do about uh, 100 million uh, rides a week. So out of 100 million rides a week, uh, there are four. Uh, you know, for, for assaults, uh, which those four are still significant, but uh, I do think it is important to kind of look at the context, look at the bigger picture, right? So, um, but again, it in no way minimizes uh, that sort of trauma, which is why I would almost say that the safety precautions are really important. The other interesting thing about Uber is that this sort of fits into a longer narrative about Uber having issues uh, just as an investment. Um, you know, it, it, uh, Wall Street has punished Uber for not having the best management practices. Uh, they're in that WeWork category as far as companies that um, that could do better, uh, that are sort of being disciplined by the markets. Uh, the WeWork debacle, um, the Uber situation, et cetera, it's really caused other companies that were going to go public to not be able to go public now because uh, people are kind of getting tired of funding. Investors are getting tired of funding companies with um, you know very loose, sloppy management practices that are overspending uh, to the point where they're not profitable. Uber's not profitable at all, from what I understand. They're still losing tons of money, just like WeWork was. And so um, right now, the biggest question, as far as investment goes, is are these companies even a worthy investment? I think a lot of people are asking that question. I know we're asking this question here on the Black Financial Channel, and I'll. I'll 
I'll dig into it more and uh, give you some more information. Um, and so I'm going to get out of here, guys. But um, before you go, make sure you hit the uh, thumbs up button, share, and subscribe button. And also take a visit to, to the Black Business School. It's theblackbusinessschool.com, T-H-E, theblackbusinessschool.com. You can get started for free. We can teach you all about investing, real estate, everything else that you want to know to make your financial life better. So it's theblackbusinessschool.com. I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins. Take care. You guys have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.